G'day knuckleheads, Uncle Nackers here and welcome to 2015. Now I know it's a little bit late, but I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and New Year's break. I know I did. In fact, I had an absolute ripper. We stayed here for Christmas and then went down to Melbourne, where I'm from, and then across to Ballarat for a week, which was really good. We came back here for a day, and then shot up north to Queensland and off to Morton Island for another week, which was absolutely fantastic. But having done all that, it was great to get back home again so that I can focus on what needs to be done this year. So what is happening for DIY for Knuckleheads in 2015? I'm glad you asked. Well, the first bit of exciting news, for me anyway, is that I've gotten myself a brand new camera, which is going to replace my old iPhone 4, which I've previously recorded all of my videos on. It's the new Canon 70D, and with it, I also bought the Video Pro external mic. Now this is my first ever DSLR camera and I know that there's an absolute truckload to learn but hopefully with a bit of practice and over some time the visual and audio quality of all of my videos should improve. Not too sure about the content. Sorry old girl. We've had some good times together. It's time to go to that big iPhone in the sky. Now the second bit of exciting news, you see that old place there? That's our old beach shack, which we bought a couple of years ago with the intention of doing the old girl up. Well, two years have passed and our plans have just been approved by council. So for the bit of luck, a renovation is on the cards. So we've decided to go own a builder on this project with the intention of trying to save a few dollars. Now, what do they say about owner builders? It's good, they're good for three things. Um, relationship breakdowns, budget blowouts, and increased stress levels. Sounds promising. Anyway, since Christmas I've been busy getting quotes together so that we can approach the bank to hopefully get a loan. Fingers crossed. And if that goes through, the majority of this year will be spent on that project right there. Now the exciting thing is, is that if it all goes ahead, what I want to do is to do a DIY owner builder series where I tape everything from start to finish so you can track my progress and see what I'm doing. Even check out my mistakes. Hopefully not too many. And with a bit of luck, you'll learn something along the way. For instance, this old house is just tack-on after tack-on and each of those tack-ons is clad with asbestos. So I'll go through the whole process of how to remove it and then dispose of it. So I think we'll all learn something along the way. So potentially this could be a massive year and I'll even throw in a few pallet projects just to mix things up a little bit. So I hope you can all come along for the ride and till then, I'm out of here. Cheers.